What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles from Dallas, Texas, and I'm currently in Elkhart, Indiana, where I have this new Raptor toy hauler floor plan. This is a Raptor 431. If you have seen my videos of the Fusion 430, sectional sofa, two full bathrooms, I've been saying it's one of the only, if not the only, toy hauler out there with a sectional sofa and two full bathrooms. Not anymore, because Raptor has a killer floor plan layout here that is going to have that sectional sofa and two full bathrooms as well. And actually a couple more things that I really like. They also have this completely new package that comes with a ton of additional equipment that is an optional package that we're gonna talk about as well that I think y'all are gonna be really excited about. So let's go. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV-related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. I'm really excited to announce that thanks to my father-in-law and really a full family effort, we now have 100% Spanish speaking RV tour videos online. So whether it's YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, if you just search RVs con Luis, you're going to find his pages there where you can follow him or subscribe to his channels. And they're gonna be a lot of the same videos that I normally post. They're just going to have Spanish dialogue on them. So we're really excited about this. Go check out those pages. You can find the links down below in the description of the video to those as well. And like, follow, and subscribe, and share with your friends and family. All right, y'all, this is the brand new Keystone Raptor 431 for 2023. You see the new graphic package on the outside here. They added some gold slash like kind of bronze colors there in their graphic package. Also has a little bit of a different text on it as well. And then keep in mind too, actually, we're gonna come right back over here because Raptor does have some full body paint options that we see in this other new Raptor toy hauler floor plan. But this here, their black, white, blue, and gray color scheme, you can get Raptor models with this full body paint package here. Now, most dealerships like the dealership that I work at where I am in sales at, we only order a handful of Raptors in full body paint throughout the year. So if that is something that you want, either you have to get lucky and we just have one in stock at the time that you're looking, or you have to place an order on one and it typically takes about four months or so for a full body paint unit to come in. So this is their standard graphics here. This is what you get with something like full body paint. So this has sticker decals on it and this one would have no sticker decals on it. So those two different options there. We're gonna go look at the floor plan layout real quick and look at some of the specs and new features. So you have your floor plan layout right here. You can see you now have the sectional sofa here. You have a full bath in the back, a L-shaped kitchen, has a pantry in it, and you have a 13 and a half foot garage, king bed, all your weights and lengths right here. It's gonna be a big beast. It's gonna be 45, 46 feet for sure. And then you have welded to the frame tie downs, Moride CRE 3000 suspension. Um, you have tankless water heater. Um, a lot of that stuff is gonna be similar to what the features were last year, but it's now on this 431 floor plan that they have from Raptor with the new graphics outside. So here's what, oh, they already updated this. Dang, I was gonna see if they had the old graphic package so you can see what it looked like. But you can see the 424, which is right next to us in this 431, are Raptor's two new floor plans that they have. And then Raptor also has a wide range of various different other floor plans as well, including their very popular 429 side patio model. So let's start kind of from the front and then work our way back. So when we start up front, one big change for 2023 is they now do the drop frame construction. So this used to be something where if I had people looking at Fusion and Raptor, it was just Fusion that had that drop frame construction. Well, now you have it in the Raptor as well because they're both giving you this space here where Raptor is using this for all of your solar equipment. So this has a 400 watt solar package on it. So you have your 30 amp solar charge controller. If you wanted to add more solar charge controllers, solar charge controllers, you have this panel here to add onto that package there. You have, that looks like, what is that there? I think that's your, um, what's the transfer switch? There you go, from your generator to 
your 110 electrical connection. Inverter prep here, so if you wanted to add more inverters, it is prepped on that back wall to do so. You already have the one inverter there. And then you have your battery disconnect switches over here. So everything already equipped to expand upon the solar package through here and everything can go up in this more closed off space there that looks very clean. Wow, they have this locked on me. I can't believe this is not open. Um, but you have a 15, or a, not a 15, 5,500 watt Onan generator in here. Let me get my key real quick. Open this up. And there we go. 5,500 watt Onan generator in there. Your propane bottles are gonna be in this compartment here next to you with two 30 pound propane bottles in there. Docking light switches up front here in the front cap. And then this has the long haul package. So Raptor is now coming with what is called this long haul package. It is an option, so it's not standard, but this is gonna come with a bunch of different features. I'm gonna make sure not to miss any of them, but we'll see them as we go throughout. So one thing that's part of the long haul package, Raptor has always come with a backup camera already installed from the factory, but you now have side cameras also coming from the factory as part of that long haul package. Open this up, you have your two Dragonfly 100 amp hour lithium batteries that are coming standard from the factory for 2023 models across the board for Keystone. You have your auto leveling controls, and then you have your tankless on-demand water heater. That's not anything new for Raptor, although all Keystone models are going to a tankless on-demand water heater for 2023 across the board, even their most entry-level stuff, except for Montana, which is doing a 16-gallon gas electric water heater. Underneath here, also part of the long haul package, you have the built-in water filter right here as well. So that's gonna be part of the long haul package where you have that built-in water filter, all your water connections through here, and then your pass-through storage. Aluminum framing throughout this Raptor and welded on both sides of all your frame connections around there as well. Another plug here to add in another solar panel out here on the side as well if you wanted to do that. And then looking at your slide outs, really big frameless windows. You see your solar panels up on the roof as well. And those are gonna be 220 watt solar panels that are up there and you have two of them as part of the 400 watt solar package. So 440 watts of solar. You have the cable driven slide. So this is gonna push and pull your slide out boxes at all four corners evenly in and out each time. And then you have same thing on your smaller slide out box here as well. Down underneath here, you have your sewer uh, hose storage compartment right down there so you'll have a designated spot for that and then underneath your underbelly you have a fully enclosed underbelly all your water tanks and water lines sit above the insulation so whenever you have your furnace running you are going to have heat going to your water tanks and water lines as well so that they don't freeze and then you also have 12 volt heat pads that are electric heat sources to keep your tanks warm as well that you can flip on if you're towing the rv with water in the tanks and you're not going to be running your furnace this here is the exhaust for your generator so that's what that is there then as we keep going this way, you have your Saloon tires on here, same tires that come on the Montana fifth wheel. And let me see what they're rated. They are G-rated tires. So 16 inch G-rated tires. And then you have the Road Armor, or not the Road Armor, sorry, the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system underneath here. So that's gonna give you three inches of travel there with that Moride suspension system. Really nice looking wheels. And then another part of the long haul package is your power cord reel here. So you actually have a power cord reel that's gonna retract that, oh, there we go. Yeah, it'll retract that up with power there. Actually, it looks like it's all the way up where that's at right there. I wish I had a key to open this to show you more about this, but this is new for Raptor for 2023, having this on here where you now have an electric power cord reel as part of this long haul package. So if it doesn't have a long haul package, it's not going to have all this additional stuff on it because this will make the price of the toy hauler go up just a little bit to get all the long haul package stuff that comes on this Raptor. But um, hopefully we'll be ordering some that have this to show on the lot. I'm not sure if we will or not, but this is something that you definitely can order if you wanna place an order on a Raptor floor plan that has, that if you want this package, you can get on. So it doesn't matter what Raptor floor plan, you can get this long haul package on any of them. You have a vent here for when you're cooking so your smells come out of there. And then you have your 60 gallons of fuel capacity. So you'll have 30 for your generator, 30 for your toys with a fuel pump there that's all enclosed. So it's not exposed out here or anything. You open up this door here that is probably locked. Oh, it's open, there we go. You have your fuel pump under there and your, uh, your two gas tanks under there as well. 
You have your ladder here. This ladder is going to press up against the wall there so it doesn't stick out too far. And then when you want it to come out, you just pull it out. That'll get you up onto the roof. You can see this patio here, very strong, durable patio. You see how many people are hanging out on this patio here, how much space it has. You do have the legs underneath here installed as well. So that way you don't have to, you can disconnect these cables here if you want. Like you can see, they already disconnected the cable on this side here. So you set up your step and you do have campsite entrance into the patio as opposed to a lot of toy haulers that have your patio entrance off the back side here, which then you got to worry more about your length and stuff of where you have it parked at because those steps will come out about another three feet or so. So you have the legs there that allows you to disconnect your cables. Now, if you disconnect both cables, this is gonna drop down into a ramp position. So you can take your toys up into the garage. Obviously this patio system would stay folded up and out of the way so that you don't have um, that in the way when you're taking your toys in and you have the awning up over the patio as well. You have two more awnings on here. You have the big awning over this entry door here and then you have your other awning over this entry door there. So two big awnings, you have LED light strips, not only underneath the awning there, but also LED lights over the entry door. So two different LED lights, same with that there as well. So you have a couple different um, lighting options outside. And those LED lights, whether your awning is in or out, you will be able to see them. Also part of the long haul package, you have these kicker speaker system. So this is a kicker speaker system that is now coming with that long haul package as well. So that is a bigger speaker than you typically see on an RV. That looks to be about an eight inch speaker or so. So really nice speaker system that you get with that kicker system. And oh yeah, could not forget this. You now have on the long haul package as well, a more ride air compressor. So you have this air compressor here now where whether it's filling up the tires on your rig or it's filling up tires on a motorcycle, a dirt bike, ATV, whatever it may be, on this long haul package, you are now getting an air compressor built into the rig on your Raptor toy hauler. So that is awesome. I'm so glad that that was included in this long haul package. It's really excited about that. I think that's just about everything. Let's look at the storage real quick. You are gonna have this mount here. You can put a TV on. Then you have all your pass-through storage in here. You get, uh, really get to see you know, how much stuff can be fit in there right now with all the stuff Keystone has in here. And then you have your wiring harness behind here that is part of your in-command system, the touchscreen control panel. All your wiring for that is accessed there and it's all color coordinated and labeled. You have your electrical outlets and then all your aluminum framing that is welded on both sides of the frame. The spot here for your hydraulic fluid, it does have hydraulic auto leveling on here, six point hydraulic auto leveling. Solid more ride entry step coming in your main entrance and then you have the fold up steps going back into the garage. Now, since I started filming this, there are quite a few people that have hopped into this rig because there are a lot of people wanting to see it. So we're gonna wait for them to clear out and then we will go get inside. Couple other things on the outside real quick that I forgot to show. You also have as part of the long haul package, you have a tire pressure monitoring system built into the wheels here for your tires. It will check not only the tire pressure, but also the temperature of the tire. So prevent those blowouts from happening for you and things like that there as well that you'll have as part of the long haul package. Then another thing is part of the kicker sound system. We're gonna walk inside here and I wanna show you one other aspect that is going on with that. When you come inside here, see again, this is the 431. And when you come inside, first of all, look at this. You have the big sectional sofa, the recliner seating. There are a couple things that may be changed with how this model currently looks and what the full 2023 production model may look like. I wanna show you this real quick before I forget. There is, as part of the kicker sound system, there is a kicker subwoofer back behind the sofa here. So you can definitely get the party going with that subwoofer that's back there as well. They had it cranked up at full volume yesterday and I was actually a couple trailers down this alley there and I literally, it was so loud I had to stop filming because it was so loud, even with me inside the trailer. So this sound system is pretty dang incredible that you get on here. See here, your stuff with the um, tire pressure monitoring system that you have on here. So these are the system that those are coming with with the long haul package. Sorry, I was just kind of reading the box here and seeing everything on here because I have not actually seen this before. This is my first time seeing this. And then there's a couple changes I want to talk about that may be happening. Um, first of all, love that they put this pantry in here. So this with the sectional sofa seating that you get, you now have a pantry in here, but they may be changing the color of this from the tan wood to the white. I'm not sure that's just 
a little rumor that I have heard. And then also on this wall here, they might be doing something different than what this is currently showing here, where they might have like a little rounded corner here where you have like a coffee bar station area there with shelving below and above it to kind of give this a little bit more of a finished look than just a flat wall there. So that may be different as well. How it's currently set up, you have some decent storage back behind here. So you will still have decent storage kind of below and above that, but it'll kind of round off this corner a little bit more with that look there if they do make that change. Now in your kitchen here, you have the L-shape kitchen with your stove right here. It is the Furion three burner stove with the bigger oven there from Furion. And you have the three burner stove there. So it's not the insignia oven that you've seen in some other models, but it still has a bigger size oven than your standard Furion oven. And then you have your drawer that pulls out from the bottom and the spice rack there. You have your microwave. It is a convection oven microwave combo. And then you have storage up above here. Uh, soft close cabinets all throughout this Raptor as well. So all these are soft close cabinets. All your storage through there. Really tall slide out boxes in a Raptor. I love your view from the kitchen here where you can see everything going on, can see the TV easily. Have a big stainless steel sink with the drying rack over it or the vegetable rack, whatever you wanna call it. You have your industrial looking faucet here with multiple different spray heads. And then plenty of countertop space. You see the decor they have on here. Outlet there and let's see, uh, outlet here behind you as well with how this is currently configured and outlet here. So three different outlets in the kitchen area storage underneath the sink you have that shelf storage right there and then four pull out drawers here you see your pull out drawer and then this one probably yeah that's just a flip down one i figured cool so three pull out drawers and then your flip down one still going with the same color scheme for 2022 that they had in the raptor that i think it looks really good in here i really love the bold taste on it kind of like a cement colored or concrete colored countertop there. And then they have a 12 volt Everchill refrigerator in here now. So that's gonna be across the board with Raptor. No more gas electric fridges is what I'm hearing. And you're gonna have this 12 volt Everchill refrigerator that looks like this should be somewhere around the 16 to 18 cubic foot refrigerator. What I really like about it is I just think it matches the look in here so well. And I don't know, I just get kind of sick of looking at the French door refrigerators and I love how this one is just a flat front there. So it just looks really, really clean. And again, I really love that you have a pantry in here because this is something where like the Fusion 430 with a sectional sofa and two full bathrooms. I don't believe that one has a pantry in it that I can remember. Big storage up there as well. And then big storage up above your um, refrigerator there. Two more pull-out drawers here, or pull-out kind of like pantry, spice racks, whatever you use them for. So lots of those throughout here. That's nice as well. Then as we go back into the bedroom area, you're going, or back into the, <laughs> so used to having people that look at these as a bedroom setup, but going back, you have your loft and then your garage here. One thing that I don't show often on camera because it's hard to show, but I show in person a lot is you have this really big thick rubber gasket there and then you have the glass door when you close this that is going to make a great sound barrier for whatever's going on in this back garage space and then this is a 13 and a half foot garage you have the happy jack system here so these are going to go up and down make either into sofas here or make into a full um, about the king size queen to king size bed and then you have your other one up over top that will come down as well so you have two beds in here for sleeping it will come with a carpet so you can lay the carpet down to give it a more residential feel. And then you have welded to the frame tie downs. This is a big deal because there are a lot of brands in similar price ranges, higher price ranges that have screwed to the floor tie downs where these tie downs are welded into the frame. So this is going to give you a very, very strong dependable tie down. And then if you look at this graphic here on the screen, this is uh, taken from a Facebook group that I'm in where I saw this picture of what happened with somebody that had screwed to the floor tie downs on their rig and their Harleys fell on top of each other. So if you have precious cargo back here, welded to the frame tie downs, should probably be important to you, I would imagine. As we go back here, there's a couple things to look at that are pretty impressive. You have your three season patio door here with the tinted glass that will go all the way up or you can drop it halfway down to give you your screen there. And then as you go back onto the patio, we'll open these up. These do open up there. 
One thing I can't show that I really like to be able to show though, is you can open this patio from inside the garage. You pull this yellow strap. If you're inside the garage, you do not have to go outside to close this thing up. You can do it from right in here. Just pull that strap. It'll open up. That way you don't have to open it up from outside. If you're already, you know, if you say you are already at your campsite, you put your garage or your patio up at night, and then you want to open it in the morning. Most toy haulers, you have to go outside and open up the doors. From here, you can just open it from inside and drop that down. So I love that. As we go back out here, your patio, nice, really big space. We already saw everybody out here hanging out. And then you have your backup camera already installed. Then check this out. Raptor basically doubled the size of their storage door back here. So open these up and this door is heavy. So hopefully I can do this with one hand. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's strut assisted, beautiful. Oh, I love that. It wasn't strut assisted last year. So you can actually store your power cord and your steps to the patio in this space here. There's enough room in here now to be able to fit those things in here. So I love that this step back here can now store in there and it doesn't have to just sit on the floor back here like it used to. So, and I love that that's strut assisted because this is a heavy door, as you can hear with that slamming there. And then it will lock shut. If you want to put more precious stuff in there, you do have locks on it as well. So that is everything back here. Another thing, you have the drop down TV. So this TV up here will actually swivel down to right here. A lot of toy haulers don't have that as well. And then you have your storage up above here as well. A kicker sound system, it looks like in the garage as well. You have your kicker speakers, then soft closed cabinets there and all your controls for your bunks and your awning outside are right here. On your windows, you have these blackout shades right here that you can snap on and off. And then you have back through here, your second full bathroom. So what I love about this, couple different things. First of all, it gives you an unlimited height shower because you'd have to be like nine feet tall to not fit back here. You also have a bathtub. So if you have kids that you wanna use a bathtub for, that's gonna give you about a two to three foot deep tub there as well. You have a window in here for natural light coming in, a sink, storage space down underneath here as well and a porcelain toilet with more storage back behind here. So I love that. You do have the window since there is no vent fan in this area. So you can open up that window if needed and this gives you a full height shower if you are concerned about shower height. And this is the um, first time I think we've seen a full bath in a Raptor toy hauler model in the last couple of years at least. So really excited about that. Also, no washer dryer hookups in the garage and I'll show you why that is in just a second as we go back this way. I'm gonna come back up to the front. We are gonna look at a couple different things. First of all, you have your recliners here. And then what they did with this sofa, they got rid of this little middle piece that goes in there and just give you an oversized, kind of almost like a chase sofa there. And then this additional recliner here. So this here actually will recline, has the cup holder there. You do have the heat and massage on here. And then I don't know what's going on with this one because there's a couple different things that happen here. First of all, this pushes back. So it kind of pushes back like that and I'm like, does something pull out? I don't know. But then I found out as I was playing with it, this lifts up like that and you have storage down underneath here. So that's kind of nice. You have that additional storage. I just don't know what the heck is going on with why this lifts up like this the way that it does. And these are secured on there. So I don't know why that is. If somebody in the comments knows why that moves, let me know. But I know it did make it comfortable when I pushed back on it, it kind of leaned back with me, which was nice. So I appreciated that. And then looks like these are just set in place there. And again, you have your kicker subwoofer behind that sofa. Huge windows all around here. So, so much natural light coming in here. You do have pull down blackout shades on your windows as well. And then you have your big TV here, 50 inch screen TV, your fireplace that will put out heat. And you do have your in-command system here, the touchscreen control panel. Um, tankless water heater that you have on here, so your tankless water heater controls will be right there. Again, this touchscreen control panel also will link to your phone, so everything this does here, you can also control from your phone. So things like programming your ACs to turn on and off, checking the temperature of your RV, your slide outs, your awnings, all that stuff you can control from your phone. Speakers there, you have these little, these look like probably yeah, a little flip down cubbies that you have there, magnet latches on all your doors. Wow, those are soft clothes even going up. That is a defying gravity there, the soft clothes going up. And then you have shelving storage all across there. Three ACs in this RV. So you do have your AC right above us here with the Coleman Mach AC. 
the blade AC system, so those push air out in a 360 degree motion to give you better air coverage. And then it should be an independent third AC back here. Yep, so if you have toys and stuff back here, this is gonna be an independent AC, so nothing that is in this area here is going to be sent through your ducting system back here, although the other AC is ducted back into this area. So, but nothing will be returned in your living area. So if you have gasoline or anything back there, you won't get those fumes in your living area. Nice big campsite windows as well. You can see out into your campsite with those. And then let's go up into the bathroom and bedroom. You have this safety rail here, um, kind of confined with the space they had to use there, but easy to grab as you're going up. And then you have a sliding pocket door going to the restroom, where when you go into the restroom, let's actually go through here. It's a dual entrance restroom. So you're going to have your space in here, medicine cabinet, and your vent fan up above. Open this up, you have your storage down there. Nice looking stainless steel sink, and you have your fiberglass, one piece shower with the molded seat in there and your shelving. And then as I get in here, the ceiling height is about 6'6 six, six in here, 6'5 six, maybe. So when I step in here, I have about another three or four inches up to here, plus another three inches or so up into here. So I would say you could probably be 6'5, six, 6'6 six, six and comfortably get in this shower. And this does sit at its highest point here. This sits right above my head so I wouldn't have to duck to get underneath this. I just figured out there's two different spots in here so you can angle it down more or have it up more, depending on how tall you are. I also like you have the on and off switch there so you don't have to toggle with these to turn your water on and off. Now coming into the bedroom, I really am starting to dig this setup here that they did with the floating headboards here. So these are actually floating headboards that are going to move here. So this is pretty interesting. They just float here. So obviously when you have your pillows up against them, that's gonna kind of hold them in place there. But very interesting setup with that. Um, let me know your comments on that and what you think. And then you don't have washer dryer connections in the garage because it is now in the bedroom here in the closet. So you have the east to west facing bed, which gives you room for a washer dryer connection. And then it says this washer and dryer area is designed for a ventless dryer. So what that means is this is prepped here for a combo washer dryer unit. Now, it still may be possible to get a dryer vent here somewhere out the sidewall. That's just something that us as a dealership are going to have to install. And then this shelving and everything would have to come out here as well to make that possible. So still, I believe we'll be able to get a stackable washer and dryer in here as well, if that's something that you want. Then I love this. You have all this shelving space here next to the bed. And of course you have your wardrobe closet all throughout here with your clothing rod there. Um, outlet right next to the bed down here. You also have all these little shelves down here. Nice little touch. So you have your outlet there. USB ports there. <coughs> and then on this side, you have your USB ports on this side as well. And some shelving down underneath here. Storage under the bed, it's all framed out. And then you can also see your table here that it comes with this freestanding table that can be used in the living room or the garage there. So you'll have that as well. And then across from the bed, you have a TV already installed in the bedroom that is also framed in. You have your table here and two pull out drawers with a nice big window here that will open as well. And that is pretty much everything in the bedroom. So you have your sliding pocket door to the restroom there. You have your door here as well. And then as we come down, a look back into your living room again. So let me know your thoughts on this new floor plan. I really love it. I'm glad there's a good competitor to the Fusion 430 that has two full bathrooms that we're gonna have in this Raptor model. I personally like the interior of the Raptor a little bit more than the Fusion just cause I like the bold look. Um, but you let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did hit the like button down below in the comments or hit the like button down below and leave a comment if there's anything that I missed or anything that you have questions about, stuff like that. And if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position, so I would love to personally help you out in assisting you and helping you make this RV yours. So if that's something you are interested in, there's a link down below. It's the first link in the description where I have my RV inquiry form. If you select the Mesquite location, that will go directly into my inbox so you can leave me your contact info. Let me know what RV it was that you saw that you like, and I will get in touch with you and see what we can do to get you pricing information. And it'll probably be a few months before we actually get these models in. But if you put a deposit on one before it comes in, that'll one, speed up the process, and two, that will give you that first rider refusal when it comes in 
to say, yeah, this is it. This is the one we want. So um, we can do that as well. There are options for that. So that's everything I got for y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I'll see you out camping.